I received my work light for my bandsaw and this is a Bin Fu COB LED work light with 500 lumens and a magnetic base. Uh, it has a 20 inch adjustable neck between the base and the light. It runs off of 110 power and it has a switch here which you can see that allows you to turn the magnet on and off. So let's take a look at this and see exactly how bright is this and does it really work well for a bandsaw. Okay so the nice thing about this light as you can see the flexible neck allows you to put the light almost anywhere and then get the neck adjusted to where it's going to be out of your way but provide the light you need. Now with the magnet in the on position you can still move it around a little bit but it's pretty solid it does shake the machine uh, so it does have a fair amount of holding power. If you turn the magnet in the off position you'll see that it wants to fall over right away from the weight of the arm and the headlamp itself being extended where it is. So the magnet does definitely hold it into place. Uh, it could be stronger in my opinion. I don't think that it is strong enough for the length of the arm and the weight of the uh, lamp, lamp itself. Uh, fortunately this bandsaw, the Rikon 10 th or 14 inch uh, 10326 does have a plug-in in the back so it's very easy to plug in. I just left the cords hanging there. They're out of the way, won't come in contact with anything. So that works fairly well. As far as lighting power, uh, it is pretty bright. You can see that it does make a difference as far as how much light you have. They call it 500 lumens. I can't uh, argue that that's incorrect, but what I do know is it does provide a lot of light. So you can set this however you want it to be so that it's not in your way. I prefer it to be a little lower like this um, so that I can look above it as I'm cutting. It doesn't really get in my way and I can still get my work done. You can move this around however you want it to be. Um, again the arm itself is a little stiff in my opinion uh, but I think the stiffness comes with quality this is going to be an aluminum type material here all of this corrugated um, I guess it's probably tubing so it's a little stiff to bend it does bend and you can get it in a lot of different shapes but I don't think it's as easy to bend as some other products that are out there. It seems to stay put fairly well with the base while you do bend it around. Um, it doesn't seem to have a big issue. Uh, the biggest thing here is obviously the amount of light it puts out. It is an LED bulb. As you can see there, it's a fairly large LED bulb. Uh, so it should have a lot of hours of life. Uh, reading the reviews on this, people were concerned that this is an electromagnet and if you were to unplug the power source that the magnet itself would no longer hold the lamp secure. So as you can see we have unplugged it and it's still not moving. It's still very secure. Uh, the switch itself is not an electromagnet switch. It doesn't work the way that an electromagnet works. All this does is change the magnets inside the polarity so that it is either on and causing it to create the magnetic force or it's off and it just takes away that magnetic force. If I turn that off you can see that the magnet is definitely off and the weight of the arm again caused it to fall. Turn the magnet back on and it is good to go. Uh, and you can see that it is unplugged. Uh, one more thing to look at on here because I know a lot of guys with lathes are also looking for this type of lamp. You can see here that 
on the bottom it is v-shaped so while it will stick on a flat surface it will also stick on the rail of a lathe okay setting up a different mounting position for the light as you can see I have it mounted vertically here on the upper cabinet of the bandsaw this upper cabinet is a uh, solid cast type material unlike the door which is aluminum uh, so there is a little more mass to it however I do feel as though the, the magnet is a little weak because I can give it just a little bit of a pull and as you can see there I can separate it from the mounting surface uh, it's pretty stable with it just sitting there I mean it doesn't you can shake the machine around but I feel that when I have it mounted like that and I do try to maneuver the lamp into position by adjusting it you have a lot of leverage that you're pulling against the magnet and I just don't think it's strong enough to really do that without concern for it coming loose uh, once it is set in the angle that you want it will hold in place fine while you're working with the tool but most of uh, the concern is how stiff once again this neck is it is very stiff which lends it to probably last a long time as far as durability but uh, the magnet itself just makes it difficult to adjust that without it coming loose now of course the thicker the material the more ferrous the more mass you have to the material the magnet sticking to the better connection you're going to get um, but it does support its own weight and it will mount in a vertical fashion that was the real point I was trying to get across uh, and then you just have to be able to route your plug to wherever you're going to get it plugged in at overall I think it's a great purchase uh, it was about I want to say fifty dollars uh, there are other similar ones out there by different manufacturers for a similar price range I haven't tried them to compare but this one does the job works well I would say if you're looking for a light to help with your vision while cutting or working with the lathe it's a great option alright till next time thank you